Shalom, Shalom. So we had some technical difficulties, so we're going to get back into the lesson. Uh, we're going into the going into the word and the definition of the word uh, uh, temptation in the scriptures, right? And uh, going back to the definition, it says, um, if brothers have a precept, you can bring it out. It says, um, an enticement to see it. You see? So, I also wanted to get this too, uh, um, um, part of the definition. It says, temptation, i.e., trial of God, okay, of Yahweh by men, okay? You see? So, the Lord can even bring, you know, uh, uh, um, can uh, can even put the uh, uh, spirit on other people, man, you know, to come and to come and test you. Man. You, you know, you might uh, you might get uh, 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 tempted by, you know, a woman, you know, that that, that uh, has a husband or has a, you know, has a man that they dealing with. You see, uh, um, you might get you might get uh, uh, um, tempted in all, all different types of ways, man. You know, the Lord might actually uh, um, like the brothers. Know, had, had, had brought up before, you know, uh, a while back, uh, the Lord can actually bless you, you see what I'm saying, with, uh, you know, money or, you know, a, a nice car, you know, anything, just to just to see if, you know, you would uh, 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 stay humble, you know, just to see if you would, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, um, um, endure, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of endure, you see what I'm saying, or, you know, fall off, you know, get a, a, a pride for them. Goes back into you know, you know, brothers is uh, being uh, our endeavor is uh, the affliction. You know, right? The Lord is trying us. This is about being tried. Period. Point blank. You're being tried to your, uh, you know, to, to your to, to the fullest fullest extent. This to see what you're made. Uh, uh, Job was a perfect example of that. You know? What did uh, Yahweh uh, say unto, uh, unto him? You know, have not considered my servant Job. You know? So and he endured. He kept his integrity. You know, yeah. you know while he was tested. You know, but I will pray that precept. This is uh, James uh, one and two. It said, "My brother, count it all joy when thy fall into diverse temptations." You know, that, that uh, word diverse meaning varies, you know, different, you know, whatever trial it may be, like the brother said, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's toward a woman, you know, whether it's just, uh, you know, uh, many afflictions come upon you, you know, whatever it is, hey, manly is going to do it. Yeah, no. manly is going to come from your shit, you know, your everyday uh, endeavors in the world. That's right. You know, that's what it's mainly going to come from. When you at work, Sometimes when you're at home with your women, with, with your woman, you know, or when you at, um, hey man, you at the grocery store shopping, <laughs> it is every day, man. And no matter what situation you're in, it's going to come. That temptation, that adversity is going to come. Right. The brothers have to understand it. It ain't just, you know, out there on the highways and byways. No. Truth is, uh, it's in your everyday life. You, you end the truth. Uh, it's an everyday fight as well. Yeah, like brother said, yeah, you guys just end the truth when you go out on Saturdays, you know, and teach. You know, hey, this 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 is an everyday fight. You, know, you literally you literally fight for your life. Yeah, it's, it's, a literal, it's a literal fight for your life, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, I can tell you this is verse 2. It said, My brother, how did I do it? And I fall into diverse temptation. Knowing this, that the trying, it's like, that the trying of your faith work with patience. And that word patience goes uh, long suffering, you know? Endure. You know, endure those afflictions. Because, like you said, like you were saying, you know, you know the afflictions are going to come, but uh, it, it's a matter of uh, having faith and enduring it, you know? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 33, verse 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. 
But in temptation, again, even again, he will deliver. Yeah. Yeah, so the Lord man will be uh protected, man. Basically. You know, uh you do our daily watching the temptations or stuff that we go through. You got time? Yeah, this is uh back in the days I one in this is verse uh verse twelve. It said, Blessed the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life. Kind of brought that around earlier. It's uh, ultimately, you know, uh, the ultimate test is what it says in the Revelations. Uh, the hour. What's the, is it Revelations? The hour of temptation? Yeah. When they uh, pass out the hour of yeah. 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 If you endure that, you, you know, you're going to get that crown of life, man. You know? See, the little, little temptations that we're going through now um, is strengthening our faith and refining us, you know, proving us. Proving us in, uh, 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 you know, through the fear of the of our smile shy as we grow. We get uh, spiritual gifts from it. patience, uh, uh, and, uh, what is it, uh, faith, stuff of that nature. So, you, so to do your temptations and stuff, you get gifts, you get spiritually strong and whatnot, you know. But the ultimate test is when they pass the bear off at each other. And you are able to endure in uh, these, these times now, you know, how much more in that uh, time? Because your, your faith's going to be built up. That's right. You know? That's why you go through these tests. That's right. To build your faith. That's what you said. And that, first, and that faith in the day of adversity, that faith is weak. You know, so it, it's ultimately awesome, the building of our faith. <coughs> Trust me to help us, you know, sir. Training. No, this is a fight, you know, and only the elect in the end is actually going to be strong enough to uh, 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 last. Sorry, no. <coughs> oh, I got another one. Okay, but I'm. But. Go ahead, go ahead. I find it. Yeah. I just wanted to go back to the definition. Because, um, for, um, it's a lot. It's a lot definition of uh, uh, temptation. Um, it also says uh, adversity, affliction, like the brother was going to earlier, but I know. Uh, adversity and affliction, trouble, sent by God, so like sent by Yahweh, and serving to test or prove one's character, faith, or holiness. You see? That's what, that's what, that's what the Lord meant by you see, uh, um, this is basically understanding what the Lord meant by, you know, prepare thy soul for temptation, you know, if you come to serve him, you know, right, prepare for him, you see. And, and these are the things that you have to prepare for him, you know. You're going to be fighting every day, you know, every, every, every single day, you know. That's why the Lord is, uh, um, um, is dealing with men, you see. And I ain't talking about uh, um, of age or you got a beard in your face or because you think you're a man. No, man, I'm talking about men, man. That are spiritually built as men. You see? Hey, Brothers. It's like, you got, you got to have thick skin. You know? Okay. Going to uh, briefly touch on that word uh, patience. You know, men that long suffer. You know? Hey, this, 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 uh, this is a long, drawn-out process. You know, like brother said, you know, daily. You know? You might go through one affliction and another, uh, another one come ten times more harder. You know? It, it, like it don't let up, you know. But you, you got to endure to receive that that crown of life. So, uh, you have to constantly remind yourself while you're going through the affliction, man. Doesn't the scripture say, uh, 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 "Let me paraphrase it: carry your cross." Uh, uh, we're not the cross, yeah. Cross with the burden. Yeah, kind of. You say, "What, what, what, what?" what uh, um, um, with a smile, basically, with a smile on your face or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because 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 think about it, man. Um, the Lord also said in the scriptures, um, if a brother can grab that, about uh, the Lord uh, uh, um, uh, chastised his, his own. You know? You know? The Lord the Lord only tries and tempts, you know, uh, 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 put 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 his his own through temptation, man. you know? Put them through hell, man, you know, to build them up, like the brother said, you know, strengthen, you know, strength, strengthen their mind, strengthen their spirit. You see? No, 
but you know, if we weren't if we weren't of if we weren't of the hopeful elect, you see, then the Lord the Lord wouldn't even be tempting us. Man. You know, we would be out here, you know, successful in the world. You know, the world will love us. You know, our woman would be in order somewhat, I guess. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, scheme. <laughs> right, but you know, no. But you know, you would, you, you know, you know, you have a, you know, what is that, happy wife, happy life, or something like that. You know, some, 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 you know, crap like that. You know, you know, everybody would love you. You know, your kids would somewhat respect you. You know, these are things that you know uh, um, the men of the Lord have to go through as far as going through temptation. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You might, you might, you might lose the respect of everybody around you and your family. You know, you might you might lose your wife. You know what I mean. The Lord might actually take, uh, you know, uh, 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 um, take take back the spirit of one of your children, huh? or all of your children. Huh? You know, going back to uh, uh, Job. You know, are you going to keep pushing? Huh? You see, are you going to stand firm? You know, are you going to continue to do the work, man? Keep your integrity, keep your faith. Huh? You know. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. I got one on chastity. I don't know if this is what you want to know. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. It says, For whom the Lord loved the chastity, uh, 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 uh. and scour scourgeth every son whom he received. Uh, scourgeth every every son he received. You know, and what did the Lord say? Uh, um, um, I have chosen, but uh, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you. You see? Yeah, kind of, kind of. You know? So 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 if you if you if you you know like I wake I woke up on how many times this year uh, went outside you know about to go to work and as soon as I go outside my car is gone you know city that uh, 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 towed my car no. you know for no reason you know stuff like that man you know you got you have to you have to understand at that point man you know you can't you can't you can't can't break down no. you know you gotta understand at that point hey man this is this is this is this is a uh, 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 um, the the Lord is is a, a tempting you know you know it's it's a test man it's a proving man are you gonna you know freak out blah, 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 you know get mad man or are you gonna stay calm man understand that the Lord got you man you know he's gonna make a way with that you know uh, uh, um, 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 to get you out of the situation I mean it's a scripture on that too right? mm -hmm. uh, um, I can't think of it right now it's a lot of that you know. You guys got that word, that word, uh, scourge? It's that word, scourge. It says, uh, to whip, to scourge, to play, and commonly misfortune, sent by the Most High, to discipline or to punch. Huh? Wait, can you read that one more time? It says, uh, to whip, to scourge, to scourge, to play, and commonly misfortune. Sent by the Most High to discipline or punish. Uh, you said play, right? Yep. <clears throat> you know, the Lord, the Lord can, uh, uh, um, um, you know, send Satan to put, you know, crazy thoughts in your head. You know, and you know, brothers, brothers, you know, we actually been talking about that lately. You know, at the past two weeks, man, I can't. You know, about the Lord putting, you know, uh, um, um, you know, having Satan put homosexual thoughts in your head and shit. You know. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, suicidal thoughts, you know, all types of crap, huh? you know. Hey, if I may add, hey, you don't, you don't think uh, in, in the spiritual realm they have conversations like this? Hey, look at the story of Ahab. You know, he said, who should go down and persuade him? You know, who, who should persuade Ahab that they should believe a lot? You know, they, they, you know, they basically uh, persuaded him that he, he would believe him. You know? yeah. But, uh, yeah. 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 All right, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastened, and scorched every son whom he received. If ye endure chastity, the most high dealeth with you as with sons. Hey, if you, if you endure chastity, the most high will deal with your sons. You'll be accepted. Hey, and uh, also you're going to receive that crown of life. You know? Because this, this is not for the faint heart. This is like the brother said at the beginning, this is for men. Uh -huh. you know, Heard of thy Lord like a man and endure. Uh -huh. 
you know, rough and paraphrasing, but hey, you got, you got a girl through Lord. Stop being fake hearted. You know? It says, For what son is he whom the father chastened not? So hey, hey, if you're not getting chastised in the, in the word chastening, you know, go back into the word uh, correction. Uh, if you're not getting corrected by how about some y'all shot, hey, you, you pretty much a bastard. You know, an illegitimate child. You don't want to get out of my head. You know? Let's come on into that. It says, uh, verse 8, But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, not sons. You are bastards, not sons. You know what? Yeah. 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 It says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Uh, right, and uh, our fathers of the flesh is uh, the apostles who correct us and uh, give us the word on how we're supposed to uh, be in this truth. The true order. Uh, just saying like uh, the prophets back then, the apostles, the elders, the disciples back then. Right. And that's why and that's why a lot of guys are falling out now. You know? It's because they it's, it's because of that number one thing, you know, they don't want to follow order. You know? And and, and, and you know, I'm not gonna speak on uh, 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 certain brothers that I don't, I don't know about, you know what I mean? I just know that seeing seeing those examples of brothers falling out because they don't want to get in order. Is, 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 you know, I'm taking that in, you know, as a brother, examining myself more and more every day because of that. And seeing these examples of brothers falling out because they don't want to get in order because they don't want to be correct, you know. <clears throat> but, but that's that's a part of the uh, um, uh, 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 temptation. Test. Yeah, 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 the test, the proving, you see. And uh, um, uh, going into what the brother said, uh, um, I got, I got, I got a precept. As far as uh, 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 the brother saying, because isn't 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 the uh, um, um, the heavenly Father Yahweh? You see, that's our Father. You see, and so I got a precept to that to back what the brother said. This is Proverbs uh, twenty, what is it Proverbs twenty nine and uh, seventeen. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. You see, uh, uh, yea, he shall give the light unto thy soul. Man. You see what I'm saying? Just like the brother was bringing up earlier, you know, going into the history, you know, we tempted the Lord in the wilderness, man. you know, <clears throat> you know, to the point that, you know, uh, um, at one point the Lord turned his back on this one, you know, because we were so wicked, man. And then you look at you look around today, man. You know, all you see is Israel is uh, sodomites, man. Uh, 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 what is that? What? 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 Yeah. Gang bangers, uh, 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 selling drugs, and you know, all you know, kind of, all, all, all of these wicked, all of these wicked acts, man, that they just drown themselves in every day. You see what I'm saying? Hey, you know? hey, tempting the Lord ever so more, you know? Hey, like the Lord wasn't killing the uh, dicks back then, you know? Hey, you better start doing the same thing now today, huh. you know? Because you're, you're you are tempting the Lord the same way you tempted Him back in. Uh, back in the wilderness, just like that, brother brought up. That's what I know. So, hey, you don't think them same judgments gonna come upon you? You know what? What's the answer to say? Those, those judgment isn't executed speedily. You know, you know. Yeah. Hey, but the Lord's gonna visit you people, and the Lord is visiting you people. Yeah. And the, uh, it says, "Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest." Yea, he shall give the light unto thy soul, man. And that's what that's what we're doing, man. You know, <clears throat> we're taking we're taking the uh, uh, um, 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 what is the uh, the uh, 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 we're going through the persecution. You know, we're taking the uh, uh, um, the uh, correction from our Father. You see, we're going through. You know, we're we're actually preparing our souls and fighting temptation every day. You know. And I want to go back into that definition. It says uh, adversity. This is this the uh, going back to the definition of uh, uh, temptation. It says ad adversity, affliction, trouble sent by Yahweh 
and servant to, to test and prove one's character, faith, and holiness. Hey, right. to prove one's character, you know? To prove, like we kept saying, you know, to prove what matter of man you are. Right. Because uh, what the scripture say, every, every man's uh, work to be manifest, whether it be silver, gold, you know, uh, whatever uh, material, you know, uh, straw, wood, stone, you know, whatever, whatever you made of it's going to be tested, it's going to be made manifest. And if, if that works, be burned up, hey, you suffer a loss. But uh, if you endure it, you shall be saved, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing. But hey, it's all about the door, you know? God, that goes into uh, that uh, um, the Lord said, uh, um, of those that endure it to the end shall be saved. Right. To the end, to the very end, you know? And, and, and a part of that endurement is, is, is enduring what? Temptation, you know? And like, like the brother brought up earlier, the ultimate temptation is going to be that that, that uh, mark of the beast, man, that hard fight of each of you know? A lot of people are going to take that shit. A lot of people, a lot of you people are set up to actually take that shit, you know, with a smile on your face, man, and suffering, you know. <clears throat> but, you know, the whole full of black, you see, the, the elect is not going to take them, you know. We're going to, we're, we're going to actually take these afflictions and these trials and these tests. We're going to pass these tests, man. Even, so like, even, 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 even when we, even when we fall down, man. You know, because, because what does it say? Uh, 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 righteous man falls seven times and get back up. Hey, come on, you see? You're gonna fall and then you're gonna get back up, man. You're not gonna, you're not gonna quit. You see? We're not gonna quit. You know? We're gonna, we're gonna endure until the end. Man. You see what I'm saying? No, I was gonna say, yeah, like Trip said, we're gonna cut it all down. You know? All right, I got. We said we saw Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, <clears throat> and they shall sorry, and they shall say, The Lord, Yahweh is my power. Right, so the fire is talking about all the temptations, yeah. uh, the uh, destruction, all that, all the chaos that's coming, man. If you're gonna uh, sell out, or if you go up and uh, you know take the trip, you know the Lord gonna test his men in that day. But uh, two thirds of Israel gotta be put to death, man. They gonna fail the test. Yeah. They gonna be tempted all the way into destruction. So. No. And I, a lot of you Israelites, two thirds of you Israelites aren't aren't actually spiritually and, and, uh, and uh, 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 mentally built to uh, 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 fight endure. temptation, man. Yes, a lot, a lot to to endure. Huh? Yeah. You see, so, I want to finish this uh, definition off, and we'll probably back it, back it up. So, um, it says a uh, 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 rebellion. Rebellion against Jehovah, by which his power and justice are, as it were, put to put to the proof and challenged to show themselves. You see? Yeah, that word was the bad. What is the true sin? The brethren was the sin of witchcraft. You know? So, hey, like the brethren with the Bible, two thirds of them put to death. You know, but, uh, you know uh, basically killed, you know, but not falling into the. Uh, but how about someone outside that uh, get you out? Uh, uh, so, so mainly the point, and I'm gonna go back to the first scripture that I read off, which is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter two, verse uh, 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 one. It says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation." So now, so now you understand, you know, Lord willing, you, you brothers understand what what. What's that temptation that the Lord is speaking about preparing yourself for? Now? You know, this isn't this isn't this isn't something light. You see, right? This is serious, man. You know, and a lot of you Israelites are taking this serious, man. Especially you, especially you Israelites that call yourselves Israelites. Man. Hey, and, and, and what does that word prepare mean? Uh, prepare means to get ready to uh, you know to pace yourself. You know, to 
and to, and to endure, you know? Uh, you know, go ahead and read, read more on that in the next verse, because it actually gonna say yeah. It says, set, set, uh, um, uh, verse two, it says, set thy heart aright. Set thy heart aright, you get your mind right, you know, get it all together, you know? Because, you, you know, at first, you, you know, you prepare yourself, you, you meditate on it, you know, you get ready, you get ready for it, but it says, set thy heart aright, go ahead. And constantly endure. And constantly endure. So it's like, like we were saying uh, from the whole lesson, you know, it's not no one-time thing. It, it, it's continuing. It's Sometimes day. it get easier, get harder. Sometimes you get harder and harder and harder and harder. And it's like it's it. Don't let it up. Right. So like it. But to add to what the brother was saying, the Lord doesn't give you anything that you can't handle. Man. Right. And he tells us that in the scriptures. Man. You right. see? <clears throat> it says, and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. All right. So don't be quick to uh, give up, don't be quick to uh, be faint hard. you know? Don't be quick to give into adversity. That's right, man. Prepare your souls for temptation. Right. You know? hey, be strong. Be thick, you know, have, have thick skin, you know? Uh, and with that, we're going to close up. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekai HaKudash. I want to say Shalom to you, Akbar. And uh, Ababa Ball, brother. The apostles and others and break those stuff. Kind of